Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? We're on to episode 10, The Last Ship. Yes, we are here, guys. Previously, Ragnar and the Great Boat Railroad made it across France and into more France. <laughs> and uh, By the water, yes. By I'm... the water. And uh, Lagatha unfortunately lost her child. Ekbert was anointed, but so was Alfred by the Holy Pope himself. Yep. Skull fam, enjoy. What are these platforms, though? I have no idea. There's some kind of siege. I see that they're hiding people. It's like a battering ram. Fuck. I pray for Oh my god, they're ready for you. It's not a very big fleet. Are you sure? Look at them. Okay, it looks bigger now. They made Viking boats of their own. <laughs> Rolos up front. Sound the hordes! Now that's intimidating. I will give it to the Fr to the Franks, though. They are using tactics they didn't use before. I feel like they're going to be outmatched, though. But yeah, look, they're using fewer vessels. Mm -hmm. I think this is a way of using more vessels. Because they're using two boats to push one. Maybe. And then they can detach the boats and then hit you from the other side with the others. Be interesting. Yeah, I don't know if that's how it's going to go, but there it is. Holy Mother, I ask you to forgive and protect my beloved husband. Oh. Mm, she's whooping for you. I don't know if that's good. Is that an omen or a, or a good, or like a sign? First rank, loose. Your shield wall sucks. <laughs> Yours sucks too. So <laughs> they have a lot more firepower this time. Yeah, they put... Okay, there you go. So they put archers on these things. Oh, that's a cool shot. They have three boats pushing it. So you have warriors that can fight with swords on the boats, archers on the barges here. So it sounds like they're going bad for the Frankians. They're still going at them though. But they're not gaining ground very fast, and they're already outnumbered. I don't know if that's true. I think they're just, I think that's just the first wave. Maybe. Yeah, they can't assault those platforms. Damn. Shall we break off the attack? Break off the attack? Perhaps. In the circumstances, it would be better if we took ourselves out of <laughs> He didn't want to hear that coward nonsense. Nope. Fight till you die or till you win. They ain't never seen no shit like that. <laughs> there is nowhere else to be but here. Nowhere else to live or die but here. The epic speech moment. <laughs> we will attack again. And again. Until we reach and overcome their king, or we die in the attempt. Yes. We attack! Attack! Blow the horns! Beat the drums! Your horn sounds a lot weaker than theirs, so <laughs> I'll just say that. Rolo, I thought you would have done something about that. That's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> just a warning shot. Maybe you should have made that an actual shot. <laughs> Would have been a good idea. Would have demoralized the whole army right there. Uh -huh. Even as we sit here, eating and drinking, Duke Rollo and our forces are engaged with the enemy. I know. And why aren't you out there with them? Yeah, that was my question. I trust Duke Rollo. I trust him completely. What's happening here? It has indeed taken me a long time to understand who my real friends truly are. Where you and your bitch are going? You can eat Angel's wings. Oh, no. Oh, he got him good. Oh, my oh, God. God. Cut their heads off. He knew them untrustworthy from the beginning. I didn't think he had it in him. He's been toying with them this whole time? Yeah. In in his own bed and everything? Yeah. That's messed up. <laughs> Talk about playing the long game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hey. Alright guys, it's more the same from the first time. You got this. I just rammed him right on, man. That's why he wanted speed. Shouldn't make much difference. Well, the hooks didn't work. This time they can just run up on it. Oh my god. Yeah, see? This is a full-on pirate assault here. Right? Rolo's got the right idea. 
you can replenish your numbers. They still have to scale your walls. Right. What they have is what they have. I still feel like they're outmatched, though. Yes, the Vikings are better fighters. These French are not incompetent, though. No, but I don't see them making much ground here. Brother on brother, here it goes. Look at you. You look like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> not my brother. One of us will die today. And it won't be me. Brother. We'll see. What on earth is that? Probably some prophecy he didn't share with them. Mm. That he's now having to live out. Remember, because he says he doesn't share everything, right? True. Oh, he no. disarmed him. Come on, Floki. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no, not half Dan. I think the French are making some headway here. Okay, maybe a little bit. It's not over yet, though. God dang. Who can keep punching? It's like a rocky fight now. <gasps> oh, oh no! no! Their shield mains are there. Oh, Jesus. Everybody's getting hit here. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Jesus. Get the boat. Come on, guys. It's not over yet. No, it's over. They've lost. Maybe Ragnar wanted to die fighting him. No! Well, wow. yeah. can't believe they pulled that off. The Vikings can't get through. Rolo did his job. He did. I'll give him that. Oh, he took a beating for it, though. <laughs> he can barely walk. He's beat to hell. He looks like he lost the fight. You think Count Odo would have come back looking like this? No. Yeah. He'd have come back saying, the Northmen have broken through. <laughs> <laughs> You can't go home ever. I mean, he's beloved now. Why would he? I'm about to say, nobody cared for him back then. Here, they all love him, right? Yeah. Hell Caesar! Oh, my God. Hell Caesar! Caesar? I wasn't expecting that. Deus carist paris. Okay, then. Yep, he's full-on committed. Let there be no doubt, huh? Look at their boats. Good God, they're covered in blood. They have all these dying people on there. Lagertha and Bjorn, he's in bad shape. They're all in bad shape. Jeesh. Yeah. Jesus. I've never seen Ragnar look like that. No. All the beings he's taken, he's never looked that bad. I guess they made it back safely. Some time has gone by. Yep. So, no reconciliation for little Siggy? That's a good question. I went on a raiding party last year to England and made a treaty with Egbert's eldermen. And they told us that your father had sired the child there by Queen Quentrith of Mercia. What's the child's name? Magnus. He's a young man now, 12 years old. Time has gone. A lot of time has passed, yeah. There was something else you learned from Egbert's eldermen, was there not? It was about your father's farming settlement in Wessex and said it was destroyed almost as soon as your father sailed away. That they allowed some of the settlers to escape so they would take the word to your father. Uh oh. Never mentioned it. Ask him now. We don't know where Ragnar is. Huh? He left soon after his defeat in Paris. We haven't seen him in years. What? Really? I guess that means she's in charge. Wait a minute, that means all the all the boys are older now. They're adults, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe we picked the wrong episode to stop <laughs> watching. <laughs> you can't just do this to us, man. I know. Like the man does not know how to take defeat, does he? I far, wake up. Good lord. Holy yeah, shit, Paul Atreides. 
<laughs> Some blue eyes. Yes. Like radioactive blue eyes. I mean, jeez. This makes me feel sick. How could a father not tell the people what had happened? Maybe if he told them, they would have killed him. If it's true that our father lied to his people and abandoned them, then I hope he never comes back. Ragnar doesn't carry the same name as he used to. Mm -mm. I would kill him. Me too. Screw you. He is our father. You all sound like a bunch of Christians. Damn. <laughs> That's an insult. Did you know Ragnar lied to us all? The settlement in Wessex was destroyed as soon as we left. A farmer who escaped the slaughter told your father and I what had happened. Ragnar killed him so no one else would find out. Yeah. You're a good friend to my father. Kept his secret. Bjorn? Helga. Looking good as always. So she hasn't aged at all. I know. The guys, are, the guys age, the girls do not, <laughs> apparently. We think that it won't be long until you have boats ready and able to take you to the Mediterranean Sea. That's a long trip. I hope you come with me, Floki. The lure of an imaginary land. Traveling somewhere that doesn't exist. Of course I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Bjorn's calling the shots now, huh? Well, he is a man now. He's been a man for like 10 years. <laughs> He's been a man since he killed that bear with his bear. Oh, there you are. For God's sake, you've ruined my thought, Ragnar. <laughs> He's been out here baking in the sun. Where is he? Don't Place tell me that's Kattegat. Surely not. Turned into a city. No, Hill Queen Aslan. <laughs> There's only one way it gets this big. It's by becoming a center of trade. Yeah. So you have foreign merchants here? Yeah. Spice traders, everything. Interesting. See how everybody recognizes him? He's yeah. in Kattegat. He has to be. It's like they've seen a ghost. Kind of looks like a ghost, too. Right? Everybody's following him, too. Where the hell have you been? I mean, you look clean. Could be worse. I mean, off the drugs, not clean. He <laughs> looks dirty. But, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> he just crawled out there. Yeah. Hello, Ivar. There's no mistaking you. <laughs> God almighty, he's creepy. <laughs> he is. Oh, he really is. Here's my return. It's not welcome. You've obviously all made your mind up about me. I cannot blame you for that. Huh? Who's gonna kill me? I don't think they want to try. What about you, Vitzer? You think you're a man now? That's Vitzerk, okay. Mm hmm do it. Do it, do it. Do it. I am your leader, and I just left. What kind of king abandons his people? He's trying to egg him on to do it. Yeah. What kind of father abandons his son? My God. This is a very tense moment. So who wants to be king? Oh, you know how this works. If you want to be king, you must kill me. That's how he did it. Yep. No, what about you? No, no, anyone! Who wants to be king? Ooh. No! <laughs> no! That was getting so good! I know. I wanted to see if anybody would challenge him. Oh my god. Who wants to be king? Now we've had really fun dialogue with Ragnar. Mm -hmm. That was some of my favorite right there in that moment. You know, just asking you like, who wants to be king? Yeah. I was digging. It's like, man, he's giving you an opportunity to come challenge him for it. You don't want him as king? Well, there's only one way to get rid of him. He's showing his smarts. Like, he seems like a lot better compared to how he's been all season long. Yeah. And, you know, he's calling everyone out directly to their faces. Like, look, you guys think I'm a bad leader because of what's happened so far and because of what I did? Okay, prove it. Kill me. Yeah. Even the boys there, they're not willing to do it. It's like, so fine, so you, so what you're saying is that you're not man enough to do it yet. And what's funny is like five minutes earlier they're having this conversation, we should kill him whenever he comes back, because exactly. he's a traitor. Now he's in your face, giving you the, opening his chest up for you, saying yeah. do it. Yeah, you say, here I am, pull the trigger. They are grown up now, mm -hmm. but they're still boys. Yeah. They're still boys. Iber, he didn't say anything, but but I mean, because he was just cool with who his dad was. Yeah. But all the others were given a bunch of hard talk. I mean, Bjorn wasn't giving hard talk, but like all the, the other three boys, just just a bunch of talk. Yeah. Well, I, th I think Bjorn gets it. You know, Bjorn's been around his father long enough to see all the trials and tribulations he's had to deal with as king, and even before that as earl. He knows it's not a, an easy life that you have to live being in command. He's not going to make that threat against his father. I'm sure he, he least of all wants to be king because 
you know, what did, what did we see him do last season? He goes off into the woods and does his own thing because he wants no part of the politics of the family. That's true. But there's also another reason why Bjorn didn't join in his brothers like that. Because Bjorn's a man. <laughs> and his brothers, while they look like men with, you know, a little fuzz growing on their face now, Come up. <laughs> they're still growing up. Right. They look 10 years older, sure, but... Mm -hmm. They still got a lot of growing up to do there, right? And right now, it's just a bunch of hard talk. Yeah. You know, like boys do. Well, I have to wonder, too, you know, with Ragnar having been gone 10 years, have they even done any raiding in all that time? Because that settlement's grown quite a bit. And I'm sitting here wondering, are you guys just sitting in the hall with your mother all day, and, you know, you really are just a bunch of talk, and you had no experience being an actual Viking warrior? I don't think they have. Probably not. I think some Vikings have done some raiding. Like, like the, uh, the Halftons have probably been out doing some raiding. Probably. All right, but... And some Vikings have, because one of them was a messenger that came in to say, hey, we attacked uh, Eckbert and all these guys, and your settlement's been gone for years. Yeah. So they knew that, but it seems like the good people of Kattegat have gone a different way here. Because now, look at even Bjorn. He's not talking about going out to raid, which I'm sure he's going to. He's talking about sailing into the Mediterranean as an explorer. Right. Sounds more like Star Trek than it does Vikings. Yes. <laughs> His continuing mission. <laughs> to explore strange new world. No, to explore strange new lands. Yeah. <laughs> to seek out riches. <laughs> seek out new civilizations. Yeah. And plunder them. Exactly. That's where that's what he's talking about doing. But since you're bringing Floki, you know there's going to be some raiding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But let's, let's get away from this for a minute. So, yes, we acknowledge Ragnar's back after 10 years of, high, of, of sabbatical or whatever he's been doing. Mm-hmm. We may never know, but he's here for now. I didn't even know he'd been gone for years. To me, it's been five minutes. So. Right, I mean, they gave you, like, no indication that time had passed until they say, oh, yeah, he's been gone for, like, years. Like, what? That was a little annoying. A little bit. I do say, yeah. Kind of not cool. I'm like, we kind of had to put those pieces together ourselves. And it explains why the hall looks so different, because at this point, Alcala has just done what she wanted with the place. Yeah, they've gone a different way. They've gone commerce. Yeah. They've civilized a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. They actually look like they have more population now as a result. And they, and I mean, they do because they've got, you know, merchants from all over the world there mm -hmm. selling their wares, their spices, their silks and all that stuff. It's a little different for Kattegat because they're used to not doing that. Right. <laughs> they're used to like taking what they want. Not it's a big difference from how intolerant you saw them with everybody else in the past seasons. Yeah. Kattegat's gotten big though. Like, it's turned into a city. And like I said, it's probably due to them not raiding for the last 10 years. Like, you just have population growing and growing. and Then there it is. Yeah. yeah. Good point. So, if they ever decide to go raiding again, they're going to be in very good shape with population. So, there's that to look forward to. Yeah. They could put up quite a sizable army. It's going to be a bunch of inexperienced guys, but... Speaking of armies, we... First thing we saw in this in this was a big battle on the water. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the uh, the Persians invading invading uh, Greece there, because mm -hmm. they because a big part of that was naval battle and they went ship to ship with that. Right. So that's kind of what was going through my mind on that. Not quite the same. They didn't have the uh... no, but st their triremes and whatnot. Yeah. But still, they they went head on. So right. Right. I kind of thought that was that. That's where my mind was. Going. I thought it was fun to watch. Yeah. Definitely. I wanted to see these barges in action and find out what their use was, and we did, and I still didn't see that they made anything better for you. So, I think the point of the barge was to kind of like simulate land because we know that in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Vikings are better fighters. And I think it was just kind of a way for them to form up their forces in a way where they'd stand a better chance against the Frankians. I guess one way or another, you were going to go boat to boat with them. Yeah. So, but I was kind of disappointed in the outcome of that battle because I thought for sure the Vikings were holding up a lot better than it looked. And then they just kind of fell apart at the end there. They did. Not a, I don't think even all the ships got involved. So Yeah, which doesn't make any sense to me either. Like, why aren't you pushing up, like, everything you have to hold these front platforms? Because once you destroy these Frankian forces, there's not a whole lot standing between you and Paris. Exactly. And I know you're trying to make the point, well, how are you going to assault the city? You wouldn't necessarily have to assault the city. You could, you know, just besiege it and then demand riches to keep the people from starving. Yeah, but if Rolo is your commanding officer, he's not going to let you besiege anything. If he survives. Yeah. Which, which, you know, fortunately for him, he did. Right. But, but, I mean, he could have just as easily died in that fight. I was going to say, he took quite a few punches there. So he, he could have died if somebody got a good shot in. And he went he went into battle as he always does, prepared to die. So yeah. I'll give him that. Yeah. But, uh, okay, I mean, that's that's fine. But, but at the same time, you weren't going to invade that city. All you were going to do is besiege it. Right. And, you know, that might be all you needed. I mean, without Rolo, Odo is dead. 
Roland is dead. Who do you trust to defend the city now? Oh yeah, and all that happened too, fam. Yeah. Yeah, that king, oh, he would have been he would have been living in a puddle of his own piss. <laughs> God. Soiling himself all day because nobody's here to protect him anymore. I wonder if that was Gisla's influence or if he just actually finally manned up and took took charge of things. Maybe. I wonder if he knew that from the beginning. I mean, I don't think so. I think Gisela had knew something there. I think she's did always too. watching behind the scenes. Mm hmm she's like, I want to see who my dad's talking to. She's always there. Even if we didn't see her, Yeah. it always seems like she is. That's just her thing. It's like, I want to know what he's talking to them about. And it's like, okay, they're ambitious. They they want your crown too. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. I didn't see that coming. I didn't either. They, Because he sleeps with both of them, I think, <laughs> supposedly. At supposedly. least the guy, for sure. Roland, for sure. Right. And then in the very next episode, he offs them. Right. In a very brutal way. Yeah, I mean, I thought it'd be more likely that Roland would kill him and take the throne in Rolo's absence. Right. But that ended up not being the case. No, he secured his damn throne. Yeah, and that's that's very interesting historically wise because, you know, besides the fact that Rolo never was supposed to take the throne of Francia. Rolo didn't take the throne of Francia. Right, but now it's his kid that's going to be on the throne <laughs> once Charles dies. Okay, fair enough. Because all the other possible successes are dead now, and that's... Not even close to what was supposed to happen. Yeah, because you said it was uh, Count Odo. Right. That becomes king eventually, or emperor, whatever it is. Yeah. So they, they really messed with the timeline here because now you're going to have basically a Viking descendant ruling France. Oh, boy. <laughs> when they should be ruling somewhere in England at some well, point. Well, they should be ruling a part of France, but not as, like, the king of France. <laughs> well, Normandy, like you said. Right, here. right. So, uh, well, so be it. Whatever, I mean... This is kind of, I think, fam, this is part of the reason why we're giving it a break here. Yeah. Is because their their timeline and his, of historical events is getting a little skewed here. So, but we also have other things we want to watch nonetheless. But but nonetheless, I'm also curious to see, is Lagertha okay? Because we didn't see her again after that battle ten years later. So, then she took a pretty serious wound. I'm assuming she is. Being a major character, if she was going to die, they would have made a big spectacle out of it, I think. Yeah, but I'm curious to see if she's okay. You know? Well, fortunately, she took the wound on the left side, so she's still able to swing a sword. But all right, hopefully, but, hopefully, she's still the earl of her of her territory there. Hopefully, she's been usurped for the third time. Yeah, married to another dude who's beating her. Oh so, God, I hope. I not. don't think she'll ever let that happen again. No, not happening. No. So okay, so be it. All the boys are semi growing up. Ragnar has returned after being gone for ten minutes, and. Uh, <laughs> A little more than that, but okay. For us, it's 10 minutes. For them, it's 10 years. There. Supposedly, 10 years later, Rolo's uh, living the dream. Mm -hmm. Probably with more than one child now, I would imagine. I would imagine, yes. I guess we'll find out one of these days, fam. Yeah. We will get back to it. We got some things coming up here, guys. We got a new show we're going to watch here soon. House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon, guys. And we will be ready for that. We will not be early or on time to the party, obviously. But we will be there for it. Yes. So make no mistake about it. We do want to let some of these episodes come out first. So, but we also have things to do. We work jobs here, guys. So unfortunately, putting out three videos a week is more difficult than you think. <laughs> YouTube doesn't pay the bills yet. Not yet. Hopefully one day it does. And we do still need to get some kind of membership platform for you guys. But we're work we're always working on things here, guys. But that's going to do it for us, guys. That's going to do it for Vikings for now. We will be back. Thank you so much for all your support and everybody that's been watching with us. Stick around. Stay with us throughout our, our reaction journey here. But as always, if this is your first time with us, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications for all future videos. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull for now, fam. Skull, Dan. Skull, Drew. Later, y'all. <laughs>